Alright, so you guys may be wondering what this random assortment of crafting tables in the sky is. Uh, it's been here for ages. No one's actually pointed it out before, but um, it's been in a lot of videos, like, kind of randomly in the sky. Um, and this is, this is from ages ago. I don't, I don't know when this was, um, but Ryan basically, well, what really happened is I went through Ryan's base and I replaced all of his uh, crafting tables with... I think pumpkins maybe, or maybe I just stole them, I can't remember, I just, I took all those crafting tables, um, and then he came back to my place and replaced every single crafting table I had, or that he could find, with obsidian, and then put the, the crafting tables up here. Now, I guess there's, the, there was way less crafting tables at the time, it felt like a lot, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe he took some as well, but yeah, he replaced them all down there, and then all over in my, uh, in my village that I've been working on there, but this has been in the sky ever since, um, but I think it's about time that it goes, because, uh, yeah, I just keep seeing it, I'm like, oh my gosh, that, that thing needs to go, so, yeah, I'm gonna tear down this little crafting table thing in the sky. Alright, there we go, last one. We've reclaimed, reclaimed our crafting tables, and as per usual, while we're up there, up here, we might as well Take a take a look at the view and appreciate the view from up here. We can see what we made uh, progress on in the last episode with this this railway here, uh, which is really cool. Always love looking at the views from above on the back to beta server. All right, how many crafting tables is this? Let's grab them. I assume this is all of them. Fourteen. All right, not too many. Oh no, there's a fifteenth. Alright, 15 crafting tables. <laughs> Reclaimed. That part of the sky looks so empty now, what the heck? That's strange. Um, but yeah, lucky we got these 15 crafting tables, because we're really short on crafting tables. <laughs> I always seem to keep crafting new ones every time I need them. Alright, but welcome back to the Back to Beta server. Um, in the last episode, we had built this train station, or at least, you know, started building this train station in our main base area, and... So far, this has been going so well. Uh, I, I haven't really used the elevators at all, but I have definitely been using my uh, my track switching mechanism and my and my spawn rail. I've gone back and forward from spawn countless times, and uh, yeah, it works like a charm. It's it's great. So I'm gonna actually spend some time expanding this train station today and maybe completing it, um, finishing off the aesthetics and that. But what I really want to do is expand this uh, sort of portion here. Um, the idea is that it's going to start coming out a bit, maybe maybe about that far, maybe a little bit further, um, so it can accommodate maybe three more rails, um, and they're all kind of going to be one, two, three, sort of in a line, and yeah, they could probably be various, various, you know, kinds of rails. They might go underground, or they might even come above ground and make even more rails in my in my skyline over here um, but I definitely want to complete this because I'd love to have a railway that goes all the way down to the last blocks place um, because uh, he's been asking for some dirt and I want to be able to visit him and uh, yeah and be able to help him out and it would be, it'd be also good to have a rail that maybe connects up to I do have a secret rail underground over here that connects to uh, my village area over there, but it'd be good to have one that also goes to the other side of the, uh, of the stadium, because it takes quite a while to walk there, but we'll see, we'll, we'll decide what those are all about, but in the meantime, I'm going to spend some time building up this, uh, this train station. Well, it's not often that you're over 10,000 blocks out on the back to beta server. <laughs> in fact, this is my first time 10,000 blocks out on the back to beta server. Which is pretty cool. I've just come out for a bit of uh, clay hunting. As you can see, I've had quite the luck. And this is what I'm looking for. This is uh, Gory's... What is it? 5G Towers? He's built four of these around the server, at least. Um, at On the major axis. The, the major axis of the, uh, of the server. Which is really cool. That's just what I've been looking for, because... Uh, I think there's a nether portal around here, or at least I hope there is, and I feel like this, uh, netherrack here is to indicate it, but I think I should take a screenshot with this, uh, with this in the background, so let me just... There we go. Like I said, 
not often your 10,000 blocks out on the back to beta server. Alright, let's see if we can find this nether portal. I assume it's in there, and yes, I know that the nether portals are, you know, soft banned, but uh, when you're 10,000 blocks out, I'm not walking back. Um, yeah, this looks kind of correct. We, uh, we've called it a soft ban, you know. Uh, is this right? Oops. Destroyed the torches. Okay, I assume this is correct. Uh, I'm sure someone else can figure that out. <laughs> yep, yep, I can hear it. Phew. Thank goodness. Alright, now for the long walk back. Lucky this is just a straight tunnel that shouldn't, uh... Shouldn't be too hard to navigate. I can just auto walk, lean back, and enjoy. Alright, well, we've made it back. What a journey that was. Far out. We got some pretty good stuff too. Uh, what's that? 7, 14, almost 15 stacks of clay. That's awesome. Nice. Okay, so a bit of a bigger update uh, to show you guys. I've, as you can see, expanded the train station quite a lot, and I think it's looking pretty good. I actually struggle quite a bit with uh, with the look of this and how to build. Generally, when I'm building, uh, the next logical step of like the build kind of is is in my mind. I can kind of see the next logical step. This one was a little more difficult. I think uh, maybe it was a bit thin. Maybe it's just the the shapes. I don't know. Something about it was was a bit difficult. But this is the side. Um, yeah, it's it's still not really done. Um, <laughs> it's kind of just an ongoing project. That's yeah. I'm I'm kind of struggling with a little bit. But I think it looks it looks pretty cool. At least this edition looks pretty cool. So yeah. Um, and we've also made some pretty significant uh, progress. This took a long time to do and to set up. As you can see, we've got six rails um, in in the station now. So these are six new rails and these aren't all connected um, but these are the places that I plan on taking them. So this is the boy Ryan. Um, as you can see it's not finished. Uh, this one, Dialco, Gori, Whammy, that area of the map. Um, that's turning but it's not quite finished. I think that's probably the next one I'll do and I think DocSpot's gonna help me with that one. Uh, this is the other end of the stadium so like I was talking about before I want to uh, uh, have a rail that connects all the way to the other end of the stadium. That'll be super useful when I start building out there. Um, I'll be able to carry resources to and from much quicker. These two don't have any um, possibly for future expansions out in this diagonal direction that way. Um, and then the last one, which is the only one that's actually done, is the last block. Um, I actually ended up connecting his rail, or well, my rail, all the way to his original base. He's kind of got, if you don't know, he's kind of got like four bases on the server, which is kind of crazy. Um, and yeah, he's been working on it. He's been working on like, yeah, one that's even further out. So this one connects to his original base, and then that base goes on to connect to his uh, his other two bases, which is cool. So yeah, this rail is like over a thousand blocks long, I think, around about a thousand blocks long. Um, and yeah, these other ones, as you can see, aren't quite done yet. Um, and this very bottom area doesn't look quite good. Um, it took a long time to actually clean up these walls and make them look good, um, but I haven't, as you can see, come down here and, and, and made this look good. But yeah, as you can see, this is uh, quite an expensive venture, but it's definitely worth it. I think it's uh, it's really cool to have these this sort of connectivity on a beta Minecraft server for sure. So yeah, that's the progress at my place, and I'm pretty happy with how it's going. Oh, I also forgot to mention, um, you might have noticed that I replaced all of the, the dirt that used to be sort of along these areas and these pathways. I replaced it with sand once again. So it used to be sand a long while ago, and uh, yeah, I turned it into dirt because I planned on making it sort of like the paths in, uh, in my village area, but I've sort of leaned more and more against that now. I kind of feel like the desert has lost a little bit of its identity when I took away the sand. Um, it 
feels less and less like a desert every time I add something because obviously, you know, deserts can only be so big in beta and uh, I've put a lot of big stuff in this area. So yeah, I replaced this back with sand. I think I might add some kind of simple pathways, but for now it's just going to be sand. But in the spirit of creating railways, we're going to head back to spawn, um, back back to the uh, the rail station here. And I want because I want to show you guys the latest addition to the rail station, which is this crazy build here. Um, now this leads to Mr. Saturday's place, which I want to show you guys in a sec. So yeah, if we're looking at the train station, and now there's this huge, huge. I don't know what to call this, I don't know, like castle-like structure that goes all the way along and this is, uh, that, that leads all the way to Mr. Saturday's base and Mine's place and things like that all the way out that way. Um, this thing is crazy. Uh, yeah, huge amount of resources built by Mr. Saturday and yeah, it contains a rail line, actually two rail lines, one to go there and one to go back um, and yeah, it it's a huge, awesome. So yeah, People are really getting into the spirit of building railways and actually connecting up the server um, in a in a in a in a good way, you know, with rail lines, so we don't actually have to rely on the Nether at all. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool build. I'm sure he'll show it off in uh, in his next video. I also want to mention that we actually have a new member added to the server, that being Solstialis, who has moved in just up over here. I think. Yep, this is their new spot right here. Yep, Solstialis. So yeah, Solstialis, brand new member of the server, and I thought, hey, I haven't seen them on online yet, but I thought, hey, I'll leave them a little gift of uh, of a few materials, so uh, you know they can they can get a little bit of a head start. Don't have to do as much grindy work. We've got um, you know some wood, some redstone, coal. We've got a stack of iron. I turned it into blocks, although I don't think. I was thinking of actually placing these, but maybe it'll maybe it'll just look better if I just break it up like this. Yeah, yeah, why not? Some sand, some wool. I got on my mine cart because obviously we've got got the uh, the rails all around the place. That's my sign. And then we've got some stone slabs. One of them is a crash slab. I don't know if he has the fix, but maybe we'll be able to get him with the crash slabs. So yeah, welcome. Whoops, welcome to the server from. Box Blair. There we go. Now he's got a little chest with a little bit of a little bit of a supply chest. So yeah, welcome to the server, Solstialis. Very cool. And as I'm walking back home, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for all your support on the videos and the channel. Uh, the support has been really cool recently, so thank you very much. And I just want to say I don't usually uh, usually get very specific into this, but um, I am almost at 2,000 subscribers, which is really cool. So if you're uh, if you like my videos and you you know watch regularly but you're not subscribed, please subscribe because I'm almost at 2,000 subs. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later's.